You are a tub of Pringles dipped in salsa sauce, baby dolls. We have some funny and sad things to talk about today. I don't like the judgment I see out there. I think people are judging too hard. I think the cycle will repeat again. And I believe people will face the Grim Reaper all over again. Let me explain. Funny yet sad. New crypto people who joined 2020 or after, that's what I consider you new, they are judging others for not making it after two cycles, specifically. So 2020 people, 2021, 2022, 2023, that's what I'm noticing, they're judging. Less so 2020 people, more of the top buyers in 2021. They're going to get crushed. I know they're all going to get crushed because I'm here 18 hours a day. These nostrils, well, they can sniff some things. What these new people don't know is that they too will get crushed like the people who didn't make it. And you're probably wondering why. Why are they going to get crushed? Aren't they doing the right thing? That is where we enter a gray zone because everybody thinks they're doing the right thing. I have a beautiful, comical astronaut here with my cute love hearts of friendship and kindness. Four of them. Let's continue, friends. So this is where the critical issue comes. You know all those people judging? They think that they're going to get 10x from the high of their favorite coin. This is what I like to see. Not because I, I don't like seeing pain. I don't like seeing the Grim Reaper. But I like seeing the cycles repeat because it means I have a competitive edge. You are liking, subscribing, bell buttoning, and all. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, friends. I'm seeing it. It's going to happen again. And this has already happened in previous coins. We can go through this. So you probably want to know, what was the straw that broke my camel's back? What was it? It was my video on silver tooth. I just made a video, made a video recently, right? Bottom signal, capitulation for hex. This video is dedicated to Mr. Silvertooth. Now, Mr. Silvertooth is a hexagon. He's been in crypto for six, seven years. Here he is, here he is looking nice and healthy. And then the bear market comes and you know, <laughs> Mr. Silvertooth, hello. So Mr. Silvertooth, please, if you want us to get a giga pump, you got to dye your hair pumpamental green. If you want to know what pumpamental green is, you go to Trading View. You get this green color that I have. Okay, you find it. Do the RGB on it. It's got to be a bl bright fluoro green. It has to be a pumpamental green. None of these poopy green. I don't want grass green. This has to be poop actually pumpamental, pumpamental green. Now, Mister Mister Silvertooth made a great video. He did not sell his bags, but it was a mental capitulation. He just threw in the towel. All right, and you're just to recap what he did. There's so many. Um, so much evidence here. So here he shows his living conditions, okay? And he also shows how he's got, like, even he's got buckets everywhere, leaks from the living room, bathroom. He goes, here he says, and so I don't want to hear you talk about yourself like this anymore. I am a nobody loser and not worth the follow. Yes, you are worth the follow, sir. Right here, you are worth the follow. I will follow you, all right? You are worth more than digits on a portfolio, Okay. Green candle, red candle. You're worth more than that. Don't let other people bring you down. Who the hell are they? They are just anonymous texts on the internet. They're just digital electrons. They are not you, okay? They don't have the power to give yourself pumpamental green hair, all right? They don't have the power. They don't have the balls or the ovaries to do what you've done and actually be through six years because these people think that they're actually going to make it. When I went through... Mr. Silvertooth's comments and his his um his threads, friends, there's a lot of people judging. And I unfortunately saw the harshest thing people were saying, how the hell have you been here for six years and you haven't made it? And I was like, ooh, these people are going to cop it so hard. Oh, my God. And it wasn't just one person. It was a couple of people over and over again, different people. I'm even seeing it in Telegram. I'm seeing it all around. I'm like, oh, yep, yeah, the Grim Reaper is going to come. These people think that they are special and that just, just because uh, they're holding that they're going to make it. This is the tough part, friends. So this is why this is the context of what I'm talking about. 
when I have, hey, yes, someone's capitulated, but this is, this is where I'm actually coming from to tell you that this is the trap. So this is why you listen to me. I can put these pieces of the puzzle and put it together and tell you why won't they make it, okay? Why won't they make it? A lot of people on Twitter, what are they just going to tell us? They're just going to go, ah, you're not going to make it or, or this or that. You're doing something wrong. But they don't tell you why or what's going on. Tell us what the hell you mean. Well, I'm telling you what I mean now, all right? I actually explain it here. So we've got more nuggets here, okay? More friendship nuggets. The biggest crypto gains came specifically because Bitcoin and Ethereum had euphoric gains, okay? So you might say, nah, it doesn't sound too prophetic. Yes, it does. Okay, let's go through this, okay? The biggest crypto gains, they did not come because most people were geniuses. They did not come because most people were right on their thesis, because the leader was great, because the founder was great, because the community was special. None of those. Because the code was great? Nope. The biggest crypto gains of the people who made it came because Bitcoin and Ethereum were in less than three cycles each. Okay, that's the biggest crypto gains. They have been diminishing over time strongly. Okay, so I'm going to show you this exactly what I mean, right? So when you see this chart, you just see Bitcoin going up, all right? But I see a story and I can tell you everything that happened here, everything I know the cycles. I know more. Not just up and up and down. I can tell you what happened here. I can tell you alt season, for example, was one month in the year 2013, November. In this month, Litecoin did like a 20x. That's right, 2,000% one month. November 1st, November 28th, for example. All right. No, I think Litecoin went from like two bucks to, to 40 bucks, whatever it was. Okay. So this is what I can see when I'm sharing this with you. And all of it is out here for everybody to see, but I'm here not selling you anything, nothing, right? All I want is just some, some friendship and kindness with a follow and a like button, please, right? And you can pay me one ETH when you make it later. But this is what I see this. So, so when I'm looking at these, there were different narratives that played out. But what people don't know is then if you walk forward through time, so if you, you plot all these out, and you get all the narratives, and we're going to go through them so you understand, your gains significantly diminish. So not only do you get less gains, but the pool of coins that you could choose from exponentially gets larger over time, which means it gets harder to be a crypto picker, like a stock market picker, you know, somebody who specifically allocates capital to something, okay, because the pool size, this is too many. It's like picking, you went from trying to pick a ripe apple from a bag of five to trying to pick a grain of sand on a beach. That's the best example I can give you because then that's exactly what's happened, okay? So back here, they saw Bitcoin go up. Everybody saw Bitcoin go up. This is in. This is not even the real Bitcoin chart, okay? So we can actually see if you go to if you type in BTC USD, you're probably very curious. You can actually look at the real proper Bitcoin chart. This is it. it actually has the early data from people who were doing OTC deals. It's 2009 baby dolls. This is it. So you go to this one, the, the crypto index one. So when Bitcoin went up, you see this move. Right, so Bitcoin, woohoo! Look, this is a lot, you know. This is wow, one thousand. This is ten thousand eight hundred eighty x. Crazy, right? Bitcoin's first cycle, eleven, twelve. Now, what happens is people see this and they go, "Whoa, there is value here." So we're going to launch some forks. Okay, it was the first forks. You had stuff like Litecoin coming out. You had these other weird coins. I don't know the names, but they're all around. You can look them up. Okay, they all pumped because they were super thin. Super illiquid, no one can get in, the spreads were enormous, and there was only a selection of like three or four, five or six or seven. You could only buy like 10 to coins max, maximum. And a lot of them pumped. And this is where you had like Litecoin went like 100x or 1000x or something from the start. Crazy. But then in the next cycle, you had another unicorn come in. So first you had Bitcoin here. You had another unicorn called Ethereum. Ethereum launches here. And Ethereum lets you launch any coin. And what happened was we had the run-up and we had ICO mania. So this is the funny part. The returns started dropping. I remember there's a crypto billionaire, one of the Twitter guys, and I specifically remember one of his three-hour interviews. He specifically said during this time, you know what he did, friends? You want to know how easy it was back then, all right, if you were in it? 
He put money in a random altcoin, all right, and he made a 100x on his Bitcoin. He made a 100x in like uh, three or four months, three months. He just put it in. And it's like you put, remember, one Bitcoin back here. What was it? I don't know the specific time. One Bitcoin was like five bucks. Yeah, imagine that. He made 100x. So imagine he just put in, he put in like 10 Bitcoin worth, which is 50 bucks. That's probably what he did. And he made 100x on that. Isn't that crazy? That's cr Look how easy that was, right? But obviously, you didn't know everything was going to grow that much. He did 50 times 100. He made 5,000 Bitcoin there. Now, I don't know if he held it the whole way or, or whatever, but this to kind of show you to be a billionaire. I mean, this is what he did. He was the, one of the only people in. And then you think, okay, that was a fluke. Nope. Guess what happens after that? He finds out about another random coin, starting with Q, I forgot the name. He puts in money. It goes 25x in a single weekend. And it was just listed on this one obscure exchange. There was like just one coin. You just go to exchange, buy it. 20 to 25x in one weekend. And that's it. He got out. Can you imagine that? Like imagine he put like, oh, 50 Bitcoin makes another 25x. Now you've already got like 8,000 Bitcoin from these complete flukes. Do you see what was happening back then? This is what was happening, right? There's only like 10 to 20 coins to choose from. Then what happens? Ethereum comes and then the poop coin casino begins. Now it becomes a pool of like 300 coins up at the peak, all right? 300 coins. So you went from 30 coins. So you went from literally one coin, which is Bitcoin, yeah? Then you went to like, you know, 10 coins, literally 10 coins. Then it became, right? Then it became 300 around here, okay? It's actually, you don't even have to call it 300. It's more like 200. You can go to coin market cap. You can see 200 is a stretch, by the way, because like I think a quarter of them were just straight impossible to get scams, all right? So it was really 150 coins, all right? So in this ICO mania, you could get 50 to 100x everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. Da Vinci J15 told us stories. He knew a guy during this era, the guy had one Bitcoin. He split it up into 100 pieces. He bought 100 coins with 0 0.01 BTC each. He finished with 50 Bitcoin. Isn't that crazy? He turned one Bitcoin into 50 Bitcoin just by buying 100 coins. But guess what? There was only 150 to choose from. 150 to 200. So you can imagine some of them went 400x. Even the scams this is the best part. The scams still pumped 10 to 20x before they dropped. I went through, I still remember this. I did so much research. One, one, this week, Christmas Eve, friends. I wanted to find the answers. You can go to Coin Market Cap. You can actually look at the history of the charts. And I went and you can see them. Even the scams that go to zero pumped 10 to 20x. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? That doesn't happen now, right? It's more like you get in minus 99%. So that's how early it was. So by the way, this was giving you 50 to 100x when you put money in. In these 10 coins here, you could basically mine them for free and you were probably, you were getting your 100x. Isn't that funny? Because people came in, okay? People came in and the market tried to price in stuff um, based off the future. And obviously they were wrong about everything but Bitcoin, okay? So now you have 150 coins. Now what happens here, okay? So this is where Mr. Silvertooth actually, if he said he's in actually like six years ago, so he came in probably around here. So you come in and you get crushed because you don't know what's going on. All you see is big, fat, giant candles. So everybody thinks they're smart now. You don't know what the hell's going on. All you're seeing is big, fat, giant candles. And this is the funny part. If you did the fractal of Bitcoins top to top, it's a 70X, okay? So everybody buying here, they they do what we do today, right? They do the fractal. They go, oh, well, you know, if Bitcoin did a 70X above a thousand uh, above its uh, previous high, then if you do 70X of this 2013 one, you get to uh, $100,000. There you go. But what happened? It stopped at 20, came back down. So everybody was still caught long. So And then what happens? It's minus 99%. So just to let you know, minus 99% altcoin wipeout. So... I'm not making this number up. In our altcoins now, in our cycle now, it's about minus 95% on average. There's a big difference. Minus 90 to minus 95% is way different to minus 99%. All right, these things actually went to basically zero. At least with here, there's still communities and Twitter. You have DeFi, DEXs that kind of keep everybody alive, all right? So it was an actual full wipeout. So Mr. Silvertooth is probably here, and I'm going to use a tooth emoji just to show him. He's probably in here. I don't know his full story. When he gets in, probably sees it. Just like everybody else buys stuff, everything goes to zero. And he goes, okay, this is the next cycle. I'm going to make it. 
Okay, so now he comes the next cycle, but here's the thing, all right? Nobody has my wisdom and knowledge to explain to them because I wasn't even around. I was learning here with you, okay? I was here with you. I went all in here. Nobody has that, the edge, the fire to tell them, hey, each cycle is diminishing, number one. And number two, the coins of the past become old very fast. That's actually a nice rhyme. The coins of the past become old very fast. Not relevant for the new cycle. So in this where Mr. Silvertooth's tooth is now, you see XRP did a 500x in one year, friends. Yeah, a lot of you don't believe me. 500x for XRP. Isn't that crazy? Yes. I know a lot of people don't believe it. Yes, literally one year. Here's January 2013. Have a look at that, okay? 500x. There you go. 500x, friends. Wow. Isn't that crazy? 12 months? You wouldn't believe it, man. You wouldn't believe it. But yeah, it did a 500x. Now you can see why things start to look a bit differently. So when I see people judging Mr. Silvertooth here, right, I'm thinking, wow, they are just, they're nailing themselves in the coffin. They're not going to get it right either because they think they're going to get the sick gain. So they're not learning from the past. They, they think everybody in the past was stupid. No, they just didn't have the chart of the future. That's it. Okay. So these gains obviously let everybody down. And then we go into this DeFi season and everything coming in. And what's happening? You have this new emergent technology. You have DeFi come in, but it was all Ponzi's. And this was the funny part. Well, it's not funny. It's quite sad that communities like XRP, Tron, Stellar, uh, basically Litecoin, all these communities who were considered blue chip staples of the communities because they were in the top 10 or top 20 market cap, right? Um, they were considered safe. This is what you don't know. They were literally considered safe. So you laugh and say, nah, they're old boomer coins. No, they're considered safe because they were sitting on the, they were sitting in the rankings for quite some time, right? So I am, I did verify that I am a human. If you are also human, confirm your friendship in the comment section, baby dolls. So you got Doge. Doge was the biggest joke. Nobody even believed in Doge. It was funny. That was the one that went up. You got Tron here. You got Litecoin. You got these coins here that people said, hey, they're not going around. You have Cardano, you have XRP. Not all of these ended up winning. A lot of them are gone now, just from this list. Monero, everybody kept talking about, you know, um, uh, privacy. All these things, they don't work, friends. They just didn't work. But you had no reason to believe that they wouldn't work. EOS raised $4 billion. You had no idea they weren't going to do anything. These guys should all be gone to jail, straight to jail, worse than jail, to be honest. Lock them all for life. Literally just stole money from everybody and just kept all the money in their treasury. Their market cap is $980 million. They've got $4 billion sitting in there, okay? So this complete scum. But yeah, you had no idea. How are you to know, all right? So you can see now, what everybody thought was a blue chip now is irrelevant, all right? So, by the way, Mr. Silvertooth, he wasn't in these other coins, not that I know of, right? He's in Hex. So, he's widening this to the top, Bitcoin stops, and here we are today. So, I've gone through with you, and I've shown you the full real picture. The gains are diminishing. You get to see the gains and the coins over time, right? And yes, of course, in this next cycle, you had 8,000 coins. So, think about that. From 2017, 150 coins, now you've got 8,000. It's already, by the way, up to 22,000 officially. You can see on CoinGecko. I think CoinGecko only has 10,000 up here, but coin market cap is 22,000. And they, they, these guys don't count those new meme coins coming out every single day. There's like 100 per day. The real number is over like 200,000 coins. But if you actually like, you be intellectually honest, the real number of altcoins out there, it's about 50,000. And if it's not 50,000, it'll be there in the next cycle, all right? So look at this. Your chance of spray and praying when there's 10 coins, then 150 coins, and then 8,000 coins, and then 50,000 coins, with the fact that old stuff becomes very old fast because they're from the past, now you have the Grim Reaper appearing for everybody. Now you can see why they're all going to get absolutely annihilated. Okay, they're going to do this fractal. They're going to, they think because Bitcoin's diminishing, that it doesn't really matter. That's what they're going to think with their coins. Most people are going to think that. They're generally going to think. So if you go back, I'll even show you XRP, for example, right? XRP, even my target was he, I was like, yeah, XRP is definitely hitting 10 bucks. Then I might trap everybody. Look, it only stopped it at $1.76. Let me show you the difference on a regular chart between that and 10. Look where the real target was. Look where it was up here, all the way up here, right? Look where it stops and then see you later, okay? Many coins did this. 
Many coins did this. Are you prepared for that? Are you prepared? Everybody goes to their previous all-time high and does a multiple on it. And nobody says we'll get back to the all-time high or only do plus 50% or only do a 2x, okay? So basically, with XRP here, you know nobody's going to sell under $5.50. No one. Because everybody's going to, the crowd's going to keep holding, for example. And don't think this is just XRP. This is every single coin. Yes, every coin you have, I'm telling you right now. Doesn't matter who it is, what coin it is, every single one. Everybody believes that, hey, if you can't break your all-time high by more than a 3 or 4x, then basically you failed and that looks very ugly and bad. Everyone says that. But guess what? Bitcoin's still around. It didn't need to keep doing that for its... Um, to keep breaking its um, highs by many multiples, okay? So the truth is, everybody judging is most likely going to get absolutely destroyed beyond the ma imagination, okay? It will be an abomination. They won't see what's coming. They generally believe their coins are the ones that are going to keep boosting the network effects, etc. right? So I only are able to do what I do because as a contrarian, it's not about me being correct when I, you know, to make you make money and be profitable and everybody else making a bit of money. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. It's literally, there's a winner and there's a loser. If you're not on the winning team, you're on the losing team. All right. Because you're not going to get out for your 2X, your 3X, your 4X, your 5X. You're not going to get there. You're like, I'm not getting out for a triple. I've held four years. What the hell? When we come to 2024, friends, when we come to 2024 and 2025, okay, I want you to just think about, I want you to think about this, all right? Um, we all held, so I'm going to go to tooth here, okay? We, we all held Bitcoin and altcoins and everything up here, right? Most people held all this stuff because they had sat through. You see this Bitcoin chart when it went down here? This was minus 99%. And they sat through minus 99%. And then they sat through the zombie virus. And then all the money printing come, okay? So they said, hey, I have paid my respects to the Grim Reaper twice, and you've printed heaps of money, and the thesis is playing out. Therefore, I'm entitled to these gains. So I, I don't like using that word entitled. It's you believe you've earned it. That's what I believe. I think I shouldn't use that word. You believe you've generally earned your gains. And guess what? You lost it all again. Everyone lost it all again. I just showed you the charts. Who do you think actually make it in this cycle? Well, not everybody made it, friends. Right? The people who bought the narrative coins who got lucky that they were in the narrative coins of these times, they won. Layer one coins, if you got in early, you won. Layer one coins, you had gaming, you had metaverse, you had NFTs, you have JPEGs. But you think, oh, that's a lot. No, no, no. Do you know how many narratives weren't here? There's over 50. Okay. DeFi 1.0 wasn't here, got crushed. All right. DeFi 1.0 wasn't here. You had privacy coins that weren't here. Payment solutions didn't make it. Stores of value didn't make it because obviously Bitcoin was in its third cycle, so everything got crushed. I can go through so many for you. Many narratives never made it, and people were still holding them. All right, they're just ones from the past. The only ones we remember are the ones that made it to the media because they were flashed in front of our eyes so much, and the meme coins, of course. But everything else disappeared, like just wind in the air, gone forever. What do you think happened to those people? Well, do you think they're like stupid? Hey, they've been around for six years too. So be careful who you laugh at and be careful who you say, ah, well, six years, you should have made it by now. No, I think you should be more kinder to Mr. Silvertooth here because this is a warning for many people out there, all right? Many warning. So even many people ask me, hey, what about Hex breaking its all-time high? Many people have said to me, yeah, it's all-time high is 50 cents. Yeah, man, I'm like, hey, I am prepared to get out at 70 cents, okay? I am prepared for that. If I see all the signals and all the warning signs and hex is 70 cents, I'm getting out, right? I, I have even mentioned, when I mention the word and the number 70 cents, people lose their minds. Even if I mention $1, you know why? Because people will say, oh, it's only, it's only 2x from the top. That would be considered a failure. Okay, yeah, but look at this, man. Hex is down 98% here, all right? So... <laughs> Do you think the market cares about what anybody says or thinks? It doesn't care. The collective mindset of people will price in what they want to price. Hex has spent more time going down than it has going up now. I made my post yesterday just to show you. More time going down. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who the founder is. It doesn't matter who created it. This is just a reality of it, okay? This is just a reality of the situation. Bitcoin, 
most adopted, a country adopted it, couldn't hit 100K, okay? Nobody is immune. Once, it's not, and by the way, just to reiterate, what I'm speaking about, the biggest crypto gains coming specifically, because Bitcoin and Ethereum had euphoric gains, all right? I'm also telling you, if your coin doesn't perform well in the next bull market, it might not be because you're stupid or wrong. It could just be because Bitcoin and Ethereum are diminishing their gains as well. All right. So all those big gains over time, friends, I just went with you the chart, all these big gains coming and we got to see these big, huge euphoric moves, right? You had the 100Xs, 100Xs, 50Xs. You know where this tooth is here? Your returns for most of the average coins, average out there, only dropped to like 8 to 15 to 20X maximum. 8 to 20X. Look how low it's been dropping. It used to be back here, when there was 10 coins, everything was got everything went 100 to 200x. Everything, okay? When it was here in the ICO mania, everything went like 30 to 100x. Some coins went 400x. And there was only 150 to choose from. So you had a very high chance of getting big winners. But now, in this, now only coins are going 8 to 30x. You're like, what the hell? So it went from started, you're getting like 200x, then became, right, 50x, 100x then became 8x to 30x. And I've got a question mark for you. What do you think is going to happen in the next one? So I want you to know, these are altcoin gains. Altcoin gains, baby dolls. They started at 200. They're down to like 8 to 15, 20x. What do you think the next one's going to be? Do you think it's going to be 8x to 30x again? Because I've got, I got, I just got a warning for you. In every cycle, people looked at the previous cycle and believed the gains were going to come again. Okay, so the people who got crushed in 2022, in 2022, holding right in these three is 2021, they were waiting for the 2017 gains. These were only up 8x to 15x maximum, but every coin was doing 50 to 100x in 2017. So they kept holding. But guess what? The next move wasn't a plus 100%. Instead, it was a minus 90%. So if you had $10,000 and it went up to $100,000, you're like, oh, I've got 10x. If it goes 100x, I got the million. But no, the next stop wasn't from 100x higher from 100 grand. You now go all the way back there. Now you're back to five grand. And now this explains everybody on CoinFession's wrecked because everybody thought the next move would be up, but instead the next move was minus 90% down. Okay. And everybody was doing the same thing. They were trying to extrapolate the future, guess the future based off a linear presentation of the past, a linear fractal. They go, well, it did 100x last one. I should be able to get 50 to 100x now. Nope. You got like 8 to 15x. Then bang. That was the top tick 15. No one got out there. Why would you get out at 15? Okay. This is a harsh reality. All right. So what do you do? We've seen this. You now see the danger. What do you do? So I've mentioned here. Those people who are judging others, they haven't planned for diminishing altcoin gains based off Bitcoin and Ethereum diminishing. You should plan for it. This is why I have all these concepts. I have potentials of a curse. I have them here. All right? I, I say them for a reason. This is why who else out there as an influencer, whatever, that none of them are putting their balls or ovaries on the line for me and you. None of them are saying, hey, guys, you got to get super aggressive here. I would get super, super aggressive. No leverage, but really aggressive because you know what? We might get trapped with the crowd later on and I'm putting my reputation on the line, right? Because I don't really care reputation. Who cares? Okay, it's a game about winning and losing and friends. You got your friends, it's all you need. So all these people, none of these influencers are doing it. They're making these garbage political theater videos. They're making ICO or meme coin pump and dumps. They're trying to shill you leverage trading commission. Hey, come and trade. Yeah, come and trade with me. Just shut up. Tell them to shut up. Okay. Every, all of it's a losing game. They know it's a losing game. There's only one winning game, friends. And the winning game is to buy in the depression and then sell in the euphoria. And it doesn't matter how high you think the euphoria is going to go. All that matters is what price the market gives you at the euphoria. So yes, it could be this. It could be 100,000 Bitcoin. It could be 150,000. But don't forget, yeah, it's still possible we only get like an $80,000 Bitcoin and that's actually euphoric. So wherever our altcoins are, wherever everything is, we got to be prepared. Hey, you see the signs, you got to start trimming. Or if you don't, the Grim Reaper will come and trim you. But you know what won't be trimmed? 
an ounce of our friendship together. Like, subscribe, button, all. Catch you in the next one, friends. Tell mum and dad that she love them.